Hello everyone. Welcome to our YouTube channel PKR Soft. In this video, we are going to discuss about why do microcontroller require reset pin. In most of the microcontrollers, it has a dedicated reset pin. What is the purpose and why we have a dedicated reset pin in a microcontroller? How this is going to help the developer and what is the roles and responsibility of this reset pin? That's what we are going to discuss in this video. First, we can start with what is a reset pin? A reset pin in microcontroller is a dedicated hardware input pin. You can see this image. This image is from ESP32 microcontroller. When it is activated, that means usually pull low, it will force a microcontroller to stop its current operation and restart from its initial state. Then what reset pin normally does? It will clear GPU register, that means CPU registers and program counter and peripherals. It will set MCU into a known default state. It will start the execution from the reset vector, that means boot address. Why do we need a reset pin? So it will helpful to bring the clean startup that means initialize the system on power up, registers and memory contain random values. So reset ensures the MCU starts execution from the reset vector, usually the start of the firmware and it will helpful to recover from a errors or fault or crashes. If MCU hangs due to software bug, EMI or deadlock and reset pin brings it back. And external control allows watchdog IC, voltage supervisor or user push button to reset the MCU. It will helpful to save peripheral initialization, ensures GPIOs, timers and communication buses. It will start from default states before the application configure them. What is the role of a reset pin in a microcontroller? When the reset pin is asserted, meaning usually pull low, it will internal reset logic activates. Means it will put MCU into reset state. At the time, clocks are stopped, IOs go to default safe state. When a reset pin is released, it goes high, MCU comes out of reset. So CPU begins execution from the reset vector. That is the role of a reset pin. How the reset pin is used in a microcontroller? The reset pin is not just a passive pin. It's an entry point to the MCU's internal reset circuit. So first you can consider a manual reset that means push button. A simple push push button is connected between the reset pin and ground. You can see this electrical image. Simple push button is connected between the reset pin and ground. So when this is pressed, the reset pin is pulled low, so MCU halts and reset. When it is released, MCU restarts execution from the reset vector. The use case, developers press reset button on Arduino or STM32 or any board during testing. The other way is automatic reset, that means power on reset or voltage supervisor. A power on reset or brownout detector circuit inside or outside the MCU drives the reset pin. So during unstable voltage, the reset pin is held low. Once the voltage is stable, then pin is released. Here MCU boots cleanly. The beautiful uh, use case here is automotive UCU during engine cranking. So supervisor IC holds reset pin until stop supply stabilizes. And another way use case is external watchdog IC. A watchdog IC monitors if MCU is alive. If MCU hangs and stops sending signals, then watchdog pull reset pin low. That time MCU resets and recovers. The use case here is safety critical systems that means brake ECU or airbag ECU and debugging and programming tools. So debuggers or programmers often use the reset pin to bring MCU into a known state before flashing firmware. Example, JTAC tools use reset pin for reliable entry into programming or debug mode. Now we can understand in an electrical view. So see, see here, the reset pin is usually active low. It internally connects to the MCU reset circuitry. That purpose is clear register, set peripherals to default and it will force us program counter to reset vector. And it will often can come up with the internal pull up resistor so it stays high by default. So if you see the simple circuit example, here you have a VCC, then you have one pull up, reset pin, it's connected to MCU, then you have a push button, then ground. So whenever the button is pressed, reset pin will become low, then MCU reset. When it is released, pin goes high, 
then MCU restarts. So the summary here is the reset pin is used as a hardware mechanism to manually restart the MCU. It means button and automatically control startup and support debugging and programming to ensure the MCU can always brought back to a known state, no matter what the software or the hardware was doing. What happens without reset? If a microcontroller had no reset pin, a lot of practical reliability and usability issues would rise. That's we can see it now. The first one is unstable power on behavior. On power up, registers, RAM and program counter may get random values. That's what we discussed in the beginning of this video. So without a reset mechanism, the MCU might start executing from an undefined location instead of the reset vector. So the result of this unpredictable behavior, that means system may hang or misbehave and no recovery from a crashes. If the MCU hangs due to EMI or software bugs or deadlock, there is no external way to force it back to a clean state. The only option would be a power cycle. That means switching off and on. So watchdog and supervisor IC will become useless. So in real system, an external watchdog IC assets the reset pin if the MCU becomes unresponsive. So with the reset pin, watchdog cannot recover the MCU. That means safety and reliability compromised here. In debugging and development pane. During firmware flashing or debugging, developers often press the reset button to restart the MCU cleanly. So without a reset button, the, they must cycle power every time, making debugging inefficient. And system safety risk. So here you can take example of in automotive ECU controlling brakes. If the MCU hangs and cannot be reset by an external watchdog, it could lead to a catastrophic failure. That's why reset pins are mandatory in a safety critical MCU, especially in the ASIL system. So without a reset pin, a microcontroller becomes unpredictable, unsafe and hard to recover in real time system. That's why almost every microcontroller unit includes a reset pin. It's like an emergency restart button ensuring reliability. What is the alternative and support circuits for reset? Internal power on reset circuit or brownout detector, that means reset MCU supply voltage dips and software reset via watchdog or register command. So whatever the alternative and support circuits we have, but still external circuit pin is still vital in safety systems. So what are the key takeaway from this discussion? So the reset pin acts like a reboot button for the microcontroller. It will ensuring it can always be brought back to a known good state and critical for reliability in real world system. That's the main purpose. We need to have a reset pin in a microcontroller. So with the reset pin, the system will become unpredictable, unsafe and unreliable. So hope you will get a clarity about why microcontroller need a reset pin, what is the importance of that and how this is going to helpful for the people who all are working in a microcontroller thank you so much have a nice day